And now you just basically duck in this corner. Run up, hit him, and you need to repeat the process for all the balls. If you jump too soon, you'll get hit. If you jump too late, you'll get hit. You will get hit if you don't know the perfect timing and precise measurements of this boss. As a kid, I could never get past this boss. And when I finally beat this boss by some bizarre luck, I felt proud to accomplish myself. Ah, damn it! No! Okay, zero rings, that's no good. You know what the sad thing is? They brought this fucker back for the Metal Sonic rematches in Sonic and Knuckles. He's actually a hell of a lot easier, but it's just not... F oh, God, I've got no rings. Oh, I could die again if I'm not careful. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I don't even want to imagine trying to fight this guy on the iPhone version of Sonic 2. But yeah, this boss will kill you time-wise. Aha! Yep! Aha! Come on, Tails, we can do this. Fox power! We got fox power! Okay. Last orb of doom and misery. I guess I could technically hit him now, but I don't want to take that chance. I really don't. Not with zero rings. And he's not dead yet, to your surprise. No, he has one more attack, which is basically got brought from the original Game Gear game, which he fires a laser beam. Okay, my heart was racing there for a minute, but we got past, and we have overcome, and we... will overcome someday. But you know, deep in my heart, I do believe we shall overcome someday. Sky Chase Zone, and yes, it's Sonic as he drives the tornado! Now, normally if you played this as Sonic or Tails, or just Sonic alone, Tails would be the one who would be flying the tornado. Did I say nay, because Tails is pretty badass on top of the tornado, and you really don't see him on top of the tornado at all. I mean, the only time you really saw him on top was actually in the original Genesis, uh, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3, and Sonic 3. Well, okay, take back. Sonic 3 when you locked it into Sonic and Knuckles for the complete Sonic 3 experience, but that's beside the point. Uh, he really, he did it again in the Sonic Advance games, but that was it. You know, we've never seen Tails on top of the tornado outside those games. But yes, yeah, Sky Chase Zone, it, it's a zone that, you know, there is a set time, you, you know, you can't beat the stage any faster or slower, and it really is just, a, you know, laid back and, you know, enjoying the... I... Wow. Anyway, that is the amazing sweetness, bad as, badass as all hell, Wing Fortress Zone. And I would like some rings, please. We are almost done. We just have to get past another barrage of uh, turtles on tur uh, turtleoids. Turtles on turtles. Hot turtle on turtle action. You don't want to miss. Only in the sky chase zone. And that's it, I believe. And now we prepare for the majestic wing fortress zone. And Sonic gets shot down, and we. Basically, we're now on our own. Again. Sky uh, this zone is fun. It has one very annoying as all hell jump. That will make you pull out your hair if you screw up horribly. And it's this jump right here. If you don't, uh, sometimes you will not grab the pole. In that case, well, you're dead already. And if you don't get too far enough, you won't be able to advance to the next platform. But that's all it is, and now we're done with that annoying segment. The 
this zone is fun and awesome. It, it is a bitch the first time you play it. But then, you get sucked into it. The music, the atmosphere, the fact that you're on top of a giant airship that Robotnik built. Not even knowing, like, at all, you know. First thing's like, you know, well, maybe this is the death egg, you know. You don't know what the death I egg is at, at this point unless you read the instruction manual, but you really think this could be it. You know, this is the final level of the game. I'm about to go and kick Robotnik's ass. And you just have the sense of amazingness and accomplishment. I'm gonna snare ourselves the live up there. And yes, Eggman! Eggman! It was introduced in the Genesis games. Get over it! Sorry about that. Okay, so I guess you can get on my castle rooms on this level. Probably couldn't. Now the double now there's now there's the double zero and there's twenty-nine. I'm trying to think if, you know, if this was the, um, the original model of the E-Series. Like, this was E-00. Then, of course, there's, all, there's also the 29, which I really don't get at this point, but, you know, I don't know. It really, it really is oh, my thing ran out. That's upsetting. Anyway, to get past this part, just go above. And we're introduced to this segment which was used in Sonic 1 and was later reused in Sonic 3. Now, you need to be careful, and I mean careful. That gray part right there that I just jumped over, that's not a platform. That is not a platform. If you try to jump on that, you will fall through and you will die a horrible death. And now we're racing uh, these things, because they do close, and if we're not fast enough, it will close on us and- AH! Damn! You will die. Oh, did I mention the death part? I'm not a happy camper right now. Yeah, this stage gives you ample chances to get one-ups, and if you don't get a one-up, it's kind of your fault. I mean, this game, it, it gives you so many rings, it's uncanny. Let's try that again. And not die. There we go. Hey, hey, and it, whoa, crap, worked this time. I play, uh, during one of my attempts at a no-death run, uh, I basically hit that thing, and it, uh, did not shoot me all the way forward, like it's supposed to. It shot me into the pit, and I died. It was, it was funny, but I, I was, I was pissed. I was like, one of the worst glitches I've seen in this game. And a relatively amazing glitch-free game. Alright, but enough idle chit-chat, it's boss time! ay 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 I... Mm. Alright, folks, this boss is not that fun. Basically, you have the exposed core. You need to hit it uh, before it basically fires its Kojima Cannon of Death. And do that, you have to ride these platforms that have spiked bottoms. Uh, this boss will cause you pain and misery if you're not really good at, like, quick, uh, movements and quick, uh, quick decisions. Because if you hit the spike bottom, you will lose your rings, and there's a good chance you probably won't reclaim any of them sometimes. But he's dead relatively fast. Now then! You can either, as soon as the force field goes, we can either jump down, or we can jump across into the cockpit. And the cockpit area is an extra life. The final extra life in the game. And now Robotnik is getting away in his Y-Wing. Of... Robotnik-ness. And Sonic comes in after having repaired the tornado with a rocket booster attached. 